Lord. Three, two, two one. one. Hey, everybody, welcome back. Um, Mason's being very gracious this evening and ready to go into a space that is a little bit, a uh, little bit of a harder sell for him. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to do some Roy Orbison this year. Oh, I hate, I hate the Spotify mix on this. I hate the stereo mix for a lot of this era's music because they pan, they pan instruments to the sides because they didn't, they didn't make okay. this for stereo. So what I found is I have a, the original mono single on vinyl, okay. and we're gonna listen to a playthrough off that. Sha -la. Did my prayers come? To Reminds me of the saying, you know, like the more things change, the more they say change. Stay. We're back to it now, yeah. The more things change, the more they stay the same. And yeah. It's like, well, yeah, you're you're talking about now with digital music. Yeah. It's all about the singles and not yep. really that much about the albums anymore. So that's, yep. I don't know. I, I find that kind of kind of interesting. We've gone full <laughs> circle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, so I like. I like the singles culture from back then. Mm -hmm. I get really into that idea of like, I go out of my way. I go into a record sh shop to get one song yeah. and take it home and sit with it. I like that, man. And, yeah. and singles like this, it really puts me in that, like that must've been magical because pop music didn't sound like this. Um, very cool. All right. What I want you to, you already, I'm glad you dig the voice. But man, yeah. so he's going to add a whole nother layer to the range. This is going to be his, his largest variance. He's going to go okay. super low. I've never heard him sing this low. And it, man, it's, uh, you know, it's a panty dropper. I, I swear it's freaking sexy. It's sexy. <laughs> and he's not a very sexy guy. So it's very interesting <laughs> to me. All right. Uh <laughs> Hope I'll you try to keep my panties on. I'll keep your panties on, yeah. I want to make love to that man when he hits that note <laughs> i'm telling you <laughs> i don't know what it is there's something about that voice hitting that low note 
It's. I think it's the like Ooh. in proximity to the high notes that precede it, showing the range. But uh, yeah, I mean, I won't go as far as what you're saying, but I, I feel like I'm hearing it the same way you are. Like that was. I definitely saw your face do like, oh yeah, there it was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, there, it's not something you hear a whole heck of a lot, right? Like that was that was pretty badass, right? Like it sounded really good and yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how. It's one of those things with music; it can be hard to put into words, right? Like it, <laughs> yeah. Sure, it hits you in a good way, right? And maybe because you were talking it up so much, and I was listening for it, I I can't. <laughs> if I just threw this on and listened to it, I might not have noticed it. You know, that's in okay. The same way. That's okay. But I had to point it out. I had to. All right, we're yeah. doing that that section again. The song's over. Right. We're almost done. I love how this song transitions in tempo and energy like that. I like those. Um, you probably, are you hating that, those transitions? Uh, I mean, hate is a strong <laughs> word. Not, not digging. Oh, like that's this. interesting. I think that song's a work of art. <laughs> yeah, that's my final thoughts. But I'm, I mean, I'm curious where you know where your head went. <laughs> I th- two things, like, two things, kind of like at the end. At the end, I'm just kind of like, wow, I like that. You know. <laughs> oh, okay, good. Um, I mean, yeah. it's it's definitely outside of what I normally listen to and everything yeah. like that. But yeah, yeah, you know, I mean, I like it. It's 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 definitely a good song. It. I don't know, man. It's just, it's just a good song. It's, <laughs> I'll, I'll take the it. Other thing, the other thing that is just, I just rolling around in my head. I can't like <clears> stop <throat> thinking about is the talking about us coming full circle with the mm. lack of out al- or not lack of focus on albums and back to being focused on singles. And I don't know, man, just, just I guess watching that record spin, I'm imagining, you know, so I guess 70 years ago, you know, P- instead of having Spotify, you've got two friends with a record player and a stack of singles. And instead of having the playlist, they're just swapping out the vinyls between, you know, and it's just kind of like, it's just, it's just mind boggling to me. <laughs> yeah. That, like how yeah. like new technology and stuff like that. And we just keep like kind of coming back to full circle. And so, I mean, it's just it's just weird how human nature kind of takes over and that happens i don't know like i i just it's just interesting to me i can't yeah i yeah. can't get that out of my head right now <laughs> yeah i mean what i mean what if we're not gonna talk about how his how music evolved in, in history what's this channel for so please yeah. i think it's cool to bring that up in in this context because i agree like watching watching that record spin it i can't help but think just just how drastically different that is than my the way i listen to music so i I don't know i just like that whole thing is what i'm thinking about while listening to this (laughs) awesome all right so there you go our first roy orbinson song and i I hope to do at least one more uh blue angel my favorite by him god that voice Uh, i I can't say enough about it yeah and considering the only two songs i know by him are this and pretty woman it'll be my favorite too (laughs) Exactly. <laughs> All right. I'm Justin S. James. Deep dive. See you later.